Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing really well today. Um, it's, uh, I'm having a tough time, not gonna lie. Um, as you guys probably know, I was talking in my previous videos about how my family was coming to visit and originally I'm from New Jersey, that's a whole nother story it's a long story um but basically i live in the south and my brother came to visit with his family so we had an incredible week of just a lot of laughs and fun and um, emotions and drama and everything because it's family let's be real family is family um, and you know it was just a great time and especially for me seeing my kids with their cousins it's just the most amazing like heartwarming, heart melting feeling, seeing your kids happy and seeing them with family. So I don't want to get emotional because I can do that really easily, but um, it was just so special. And I have been pretty much homesick since I moved here. Um, it's not that the South has done anything to me negatively. Well, a few things, but anyway, that's another, and that's another story. Anyway, um, it's not, you know, I've met some nice people and my kids, you know, are doing really well. It's just that home has been home for me and that's up north and um, love it or hate it, that's where I'm from. So, you know, to each their own, but um, it's just been really hard adjusting and accepting for me. And I, I'm really trying hard. Um, you guys know too, I struggle a lot with anxiety and with just, you know, moments of depression. So it's been difficult. And whenever they leave, it's really hard. So I wasn't gonna film today, but then I thought to myself, let's do a chit chatty, get ready with me. And let's just, let's just put it all out there because that's really the ultimate way to kind of feel better. Just vent, get your feelings out and um, start fresh. So yeah, let's get into it. I picked up this primer. This is actually a Maybelline Master Prime um, Blur and Illuminate. It has SPF in it, which I'm not a huge fan of SPF in primer because I feel like if I wanna wear SPF, I'll put on SPF, right? But um, I wanted to try something that would blur and illuminate and that was within, you know, a decent budget. So I'm gonna give this a whirl. I have not read any reviews on it. I'm going in blindly, Lord help me. But um, I like the idea of blurring out my pores and I like the idea of having something illuminating. So if it can do both for me, I'm sold. It smells kind of good actually. It has like a really kind of sweet, almost like citrus scent. But yeah, I haven't read much about this product. I just kind of was like, you know what? I want to try something drugstore. Everything I use lately has been like samples of higher end products. So I was like, let me just give this a whirl. Um, it does feel super duper hydrating. Not gonna lie. Kind of feels like that silk feeling you get with Tatcha. My only thing is I just hope it penetrates the skin and doesn't like sit on the surface and then everything slides off my face. Um, but I love the glow that my skin is getting from it. I'm really fat. I received a sample, by the way, of these Kat Von D Locket foundations, and I'm mixing a little bit of medium 54 neutral with my last remains of my matte velvet skin from Makeup Forever. I am literally like on my way out of this product, but I can't help it. I just really love it, and I want to extend it as long as I can. But yeah, I got um, color quite a bit over the last few days when my brother was here because we were, like I said, just on the go at the pool. We went mini golfing in like 100 degree weather with 100% humidity. It was so disgusting, you guys. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, like maybe some people love that. I don't know, comment like if you're into the heat and you like that like hot, hot weather, but like I can't function. After like two hours, I'm done, I'm good. I got my sun, well, I got my heat, I'm good, but I can't spend like all day, every day in that kind of weather, and I don't know how people do it. But um, yeah, the guy was like, oh, this is nothing, well, no big deal, and we were just like dying. But the kids had a really, really good time, and 
you know, kids don't, I feel like they don't let the heat get to them right away like we do. They'll, my kids will eventually tell me like, mommy, I'm hot, mom, I'm tired. But like initially going into it, like they're all about the excitement and the fun. And that kind of makes it worthwhile. And then when your kids tell you it's hot, which they ended up doing, I was like, all right, it's time to go. Yeah, um, so yeah, this is working out really well, this foundation. I don't know, hopefully it's picking up good on camera, but I love the way it looks in person. I'm digging it. Um, I haven't used a locket foundation in so long, like, so, so long, because I just feel like so many different foundations have come along since this foundation launched. Um, but the thing is, when you look at all these like full, full coverages that we're seeing now, like I feel like Kat Von D was kind of like a trademark of this, like using such a high amount of like pigment and coverage so early on in the game. I mean, you had your um, Lancome Tinny Dole and your Estee Lauder Double Wear, but other than that, there really weren't a lot of other foundations you could compare unless it was like legit cream foundations and, um, you know, like more high def coverage. But for mass like appeal and mass market, I feel like she was one of the first to really launch a super duper pigmented foundation. And I'm not being paid to tell you that. I'm just like going back to my own discovery of like the first time I saw her line in Sephora. So I am doing my Makeup Revolution and um, Tarte Shape Tape right now. Just kind of blending these two. I have the wrong color in Shape Tape because it was a color I was using when I wasn't so tan. So I kind of mix with a little bit of Makeup Revolution just to give me an overall better balance of color. And if you guys notice, I have like a scratch here, and I think it was actually from my, my little niece. I have a um, one-year-old niece who came to visit, and oh my God, I just love her so much, I could eat her up. But we were like hugging her and playing with her and just kind of like enjoying every moment. Because the thing is too, like I go up north maybe once a year, if that and my family comes down maybe once a year if that so going from seeing your brothers every single day practically to like barely seeing them at all and having to rely on Facebook and social media as a means of a relationship like that's really hard to do and so when they come I'm just like a hundred percent about them I stop everything I don't want to be bothered by anybody <laughs> I'm just like let me eat up my family and enjoy it all because before I know it, it'll be done again. And then, you know, it'll be another year before I see them. So yeah, I was um, playing with her and I think she scratched me with her little nails, but she was so cute. I didn't even care. I was like, you know what? Do what you want, girl. Throw up, poop, do whatever you gotta do because I'm enjoying you. And I like kept trying to take her away from <laughs> her mom and dad. Like, let me hold her. Let me hold her, I will enjoy her. And um, my older niece, she's awesome too. Like she's just so much fun, so easy going, so good to my kids. And um, you know, you know how you just tell like the amount of love that kids get because they give it to other people. And I feel like that's how my family is. And I'm, I'm super proud of that, you know? The, my kids and their cousins, they all get along so well and you can just feel that energy and that love and respect for each other. And they have their moments because they're kids and kids fight and, you know, bicker, but they are just awesome. And I just really, I can't stop talking about it, guys. I had such a great time seeing them. And uh, I just feel really blessed, you know? Um, you've probably seen in my video a while ago that I spoke about the fact that I'm adopted. And to be able to be adopted and be in such a good situation and a safe situation and to grow up with family that always treated you like you were blood, you know, like you were their own, um, is so, it's just so important and it's so crucial for people to be able to succeed and do well in life, especially when they come from something that was just out of their hands, you know? I couldn't control the fact that I was adopted. It just was what it was. And... I got really lucky that I got a good family because not everybody gets that. And so 
I think now as I'm older, I just appreciate family more and I, I realize a lot more. And I've said before, like sometimes my social anxiety and my issues that I have holds me back from truly getting to go to a lot of things and enjoy everybody. But I think about everyone, you know, keep everyone in my heart and my prayers all the time. Um, cause I do have a huge family and you know, I think about everybody and I love looking on Facebook, seeing how everyone's growing and, um, what everyone's up to. I just find it so interesting and fun. So yeah, I'm just, I'm feeling the love these days. I mean, I have my moments. I, I'm definitely sad at times. I definitely have to like talk myself out of my moods. You know, I'm sure if you guys struggle with depression and anxiety you know what that's like where you just have to um you know remind yourself and count your blessings because I think sometimes we just get so caught up in negativity we forget the good things and um mercury retrograde I know I'm not like you know directly affected by it because I'm an Aries but I just felt like those last few weeks have just been hell and I just have not been able to like just I don't know get get a handle on things I just feel like things have just been so shitty and just all over the place and um I don't even know I'm like ranting you guys I'm just literally going in circles so all right guys I just set my face a little and now I want to go in I picked up some MAC Pro Longwear Soft Okra I haven't used this in so long I used to actually work for MAC it was like one of my first jobs outside of cosmetology school and um, it was extremely intimidating too. Like some of the artists there were just so incredible and so, at least they came across as like so positive and so sh sure of themselves. And I, I was in such an insecure, vulnerable state at that point because I had like just moved out of Jersey um, and you know, just gotten out of cosmetology school learning all these different things and you know I'd worked for companies before that but never one quite as um competitive I guess as Mac and so when I first got out on the scene I was like petrified and I always felt like I was terrible at what I was doing I mean they they saw something in me once they looked at my portfolio and I think a lot of it was that drive and that passion to want to learn but um, it was so intimidating and my boss was really, really tough. And I think looking back now, I'm like, because it was like, what was it seven years ago? Six or seven years? Six years ago, because I've been down here for like six years. Um, but yeah, it was so intimidating. And I remember just like looking at my manager one time, like just dumbfounded because she was like, she was saying something about work I was doing and she literally like pointed me out in front of my client and I was so mortified. I was like, you did not just do that to me. I just felt so embarrassed and I was like, just, I don't know. I didn't know I was mortified. And she was like making comments about the look I was doing. And the, um, the client was fine. She seemed like very happy, no complaints. But my manager was just like, you need to blend that. Like straight up, no expression other than that's not blended. And I was like dying. I, inside, I, I'm pretty sure I died a little bit that day. But I was so scared and I was like, oh my God, she's telling me I'm not blending. Like this, I just wanted to die. And you know, I suffer from anxiety. So I'm already trying to be a people pleaser as is. Hold on, I need to find a palette. I feel like I want to work with Morphe again today just because it's so fun and there's so many colors. But anyway, long story short, she basically told me like, you need to blend your shit better. And I thought I was the shit, kind of, sort of, not really. And I was just so, so embarrassed and, and uh, pretty sure I had a panic attack at work that day, I'm not gonna lie. I was really scared. Um, because you know, you're a people pleaser and you worry about every little thing anyway when you have anxiety. So then let alone to have your boss tell you like, 
on the spot in front of people that your work is crap. It was so hard for me, but I pushed and I pushed to keep going um, and eventually ended up leaving because I think I just felt like I wasn't good enough at the time. And looking back, I wish I would have handled that differently and maybe just tried to be more assertive and say something, you know, because I, I didn't get any training. I was thrown on the floor. The only training I had at the time was the training that I had gotten in school, which is really just so basic and nothing. Um, and YouTube at the time was kind of just starting to like really get popular. And that was how I learned. I just watched, um, I think it was, well, I definitely watched Candy Johnson. I think I learned the most from her. Um, and then I found a few videos of Makeup by Mario, like early on before he really took off with the Kardashians and with Kim Kardashian. And I just learned so much from watching that. And then um, I think, I wanna say, maybe it was Jaclyn Hill, I don't remember. Or no, it was Carly, Carly Bible I was watching too. And just learning a lot about different products and things to use and techniques. And that's when I finally started getting more comfortable. But I just, I was so lost in the beginning with everything I didn't know what to do. And I just was so embarrassed and, and insecure. And it took me a little while to bounce back from that. Um, I ended up having my second child, so I took some time off and just kind of really did some soul searching about like, oh my God, do I really wanna do this anymore? <laughs> you know, it was, it was a traumatic experience. And I think like sometimes Mac can be like that. They're a little, depending on your team, I mean, some people have great experiences, but depending on the people you work with, and the management and everything like it's just um, I don't know it, it, it can be very challenging and I don't want to say people are judgmental because there's a lot of good people a lot of good artists out there but it's it can be a clicky field when you're in cosmetics and you're in um, you know makeup artistry and I feel like everyone's kind of sort of trying to outdo each other so you know it's really about how much you put into it yourself and how much you work at it and um, the effort that you just solely independently put in because you're not gonna always get that training and that guidance that you want. Like I wanted like, you know, New York Fashion Week guidance, like following an artist's vision and learning it myself, but it just wasn't happening for me right away. And that was a little rocky and rough for me, but um, I'm glad I stuck it out because you know, now I've worked with some really cool lines and I've learned just a lot of different things and, and I'm happier for it. But in the beginning, it was it was rough. And like I say, when you go in with this, I hate to use the word disability, but debilitating um, anxieties and stuff like that, you know, I feel like it's even harder for you. Um, but I guess the whole point is just to not give up and... Um, you know work work through it if it's if if it's something you love to do don't let anything stop you you know and that's just where I have to like work harder than others teaching myself how to be positive and how to get through things and I don't even really remember where I started with the conversation but again I'm going off on my tangents today it's just one of those venting days and this is like more of a true get ready with me. Um, so I'm mixing, just so you guys know, cause you're probably watching and you're like, what the hell is she using? Um, but I'm kind of just going back and forth, mixing a lot of these base crease colors, these mid-tone colors, just to create like a warm crease. I'm not really sure where I'm going with the look today, truthfully. I wanted to do something kind of soft. And then again, that I say that every video and it never turns out that way. But um, I'm probably just gonna work with, I don't know, maybe some pinks. So I am, I'm gonna work in pinks. I have a pink shirt on, which I thought was gonna to be too over the top, but you know what? I'm just gonna make it work because I'm feeling some pink today. And this is a um, BH Marble brush. It's a much more dense brush, so I feel like it really applies color nice and deep and um, rich. Now I'm gonna mix these kind of like plummy purples together 
on a smaller, more detailed brush, and I want to kind of get right deep into the crease with this to give it one more pop. And then we'll probably just do some gold or some glitter on the eyelid. Let's do frosted pink, and then we'll pop in some Stila. So I'm just taking a little bit of this like rich kind of pinky, maroony color, super frosted, and I'm just gonna pack this on my lid. Um, I'm gonna mix a little bit of a rose gold. Yeah, let's do rose gold by Stila eyeshadow. And I'm actually gonna work this right in the center here and then just use a brush to kind of blend it back and forth into the center of the lid. Let it be like the statement in the middle. So going back into my Morphe Dare to Create, I'm gonna take a small detail brush from BH and go into that dark plum. And I wanna work that into my lower lash line. I'm going to go into that kind of maroonish pink that's also in that palette and go ahead and just kind of buff out the lower lash line even further. Then we're going to go into like this warm orange brown that's in the center of this palette and go ahead and just really buff out the lower lash line. Work on some of my contour. Um, I'll probably do the rest of my eye look off camera just to save some time because I have kind of dragged this out a little bit. But um, I wanted to be able to talk just a little further because before when I was talking about MAC, I had mentioned how I had that experience with my manager and was pretty sure I had a panic attack. And I wanted to talk more about that because, you know, I think it's important, like I said, to talk about things that affect us and are real and just, you know, may stop us in our tracks. At the time when that happened and I felt that way, I never thought that I would be able to get to a comfortable point where panic, anxiety would ever go away enough that I could lead a more normal life, you know? I kept getting these like, I don't wanna say like outbreak or something, but like I just kept getting these setbacks and these moments that would just kind of stop me in my tracks and really make me feel awful about myself because I'd be like, what is wrong with me? This is just, you know, a boss being criticizing and doing, I guess, their job really. And I just couldn't figure out like, why I couldn't handle the negative feedback and why it was affecting me to the point of making me like wanna have a breakdown and just totally like give up and not you know, try my best anymore, not do something that I enjoyed doing. I had been living what I didn't know at the time in a, this um, kind of like heightened state of just fear and fight or flight. And um, a lot of it was because of other things that were going on in my life that I just was not handling and taking care of. And because of that, it was affecting everything. And I was just getting these, um, panic attacks and just constant like general anxiety and just fear that like something bad was going to happen and it it got to a point where I couldn't leave my house for like I would say probably a month like I, le I left to do little things but I just couldn't go out long I couldn't you know the idea of going from my bedroom to the kitchen from the kitchen to outside to outside to my car it was like little things that I did every single day never thought twice about became something that was just overwhelming to me and fearful and I remember just thinking for a while like I am what, what the hell is wrong with me? Am I going like legit cuckoo crazy? Like, why am I so afraid of doing things that are so normal, so everyday? 
why was it that like when I was at a family dinner I was like having heart palpitations and shaking I was so afraid of judgment and fe and fearing it to the point that I like was trying to prevent it and stop it and you know it was affecting just everyday things that I did all the time like hanging out with my family hanging out with my friends and that was a scary time in my life I'm not even gonna lie but I mean thankfully through the help of just meditation and um, you know just taking time out and breathing going to therapy it, it helped me tremendously but um, there was a period of time where I thought to myself, I'm never going to overcome this. It's done. Like, this is it. I'm going to be a loony tune, just, you know, hanging out in my loony bin, <laughs> unable to enjoy things, you know, that I want to do and unable to be the person I want to be because I'm just trapped in all this anxiety and fear. And I want to talk about it, and I'm sorry if this is triggering for anybody that's going through it right now, but I want it to be known that you can get through it and that it seems impossible and it seems so overwhelming at some times in your life, um, but it's possible and I am proof of that, that you know there was this trapped, scared girl who was trying so hard to just make it and make everybody happy. And when I finally let go of this notion of being perfect and making everybody happy, that's when things started to actually, you know, happen for me. And I started to breathe again. And I mean, really take that full, comfortable breath, not that like tightened off, scared, I'm gonna choke breath, you know, that we all know when we have our, our anxiety and our attacks, you know, but it was just like living in this constant bubble of, having to make people happy and impress people. And um, I had been going through that since I was in school for cosmetology because I was trying so hard to be a mom, be on top of my stuff, be a student, be a daughter, be you know a worker, I had a job, um, be a single mom. I mean, at the time I was single and I just, I let everything get to me to the point where I just literally like broke down and here was my opportunity with a big company like Mac and I just, I bailed. It got hard and I bailed and I'll be the first to talk about that and admit that because I think it's so important to be honest about those moments in your life. When you can openly talk about them and be honest and not hide it back and hold it back, you know, that's it. It can't hurt you anymore because you're not afraid to talk about those moments. And weakness happens. We all have that moment of just like, okay, I need to take a step back. I need to change some things. I need to refocus. I need to regain who I am and what I want. And, um, you know, when you can when you can do that for yourself and you can feel comfortable and confident in your own skin, that's when the world starts to really open up. And I have not reached nearly the amount of success career-wise, personal, personally, you know, but I feel like I'm 100% different than I was five, six, even seven years ago. Um, and I, I just feel better all around in just my life and, and how I treat people, how I let people treat me, which is a huge thing. And um, just, you know, how I go about my day-to-day -day routine. I don't want to keep you forever in a day. I'm going to go off camera now and finish my eyes and everything. And then we'll come back and complete the look together. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I finished off my brows and um, I put on one coat of mascara. I always like to do the lengthening side of my mascara wand first. This is my um, Clinique Lash Power Flutter to Full. And I like to kind of do that, let it set a little bit and work on other things. So I'm gonna go ahead and start lining my lips. And for today, I'm gonna be using um, Laura Mercier's Lip Pencil in the color hazelnut tea. I wanna keep my lips really soft um, for the most part and just kind of pink and rougey because we have a lot going on with our eye look today and I'm feeling very inspired, I think, because of Game of Thrones. Um, I just went back and started re-watching. Yes, that's how big of a fan I am from season one and I'm on season two now. And I just, I don't know, I've just been so into it again, just really hating, loving, 
clothing a lot of different characters um, and going on the journey again I know some people don't really like it because it's very graphic and there's a lot of uh, sensitive content to it but I do really love this storyline and I'm feeling just very Lannister brothel vibe today I don't know guys just gonna throw that out there but anyway <laughs> let's get into lining our lips and making this look complete You took a piece of my heart I never thought that this could fall apart You said you fell in love And this was more than I had ever been afraid of Another life, another half I'm gonna go in with Loyalist from Maybelline. I haven't used their liquid lipsticks in a while and I remember I used to love this color. So I think it'll look really good with that. Okay guys, so this is the finished look and man, we have covered everything today from anxiety, depression, panic attacks, working for MAC Cosmetics, family, makeup, Game of Thrones. I mean, I kind of really went off on a tangent and I almost feel like a beautiful mind, not gonna lie. <laughs> but yeah, I just had a lot to say and I feel like this is the place to say it, right? And just talk about it. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this look, a true get ready with me. I will try to link information down below for the products since I didn't quite go into a lot of specifics today um, but I just wanted to have fun and open up to you guys let you guys get to know a little bit about my life and how I feel about certain things what I like to do and um, I want to know what you guys like to do so I'm gonna put a comment down below and um, reach out and comment let me know what your tea is let me know if you are a Game of Thrones fan let me know what you guys like to do what family means to you if you've been through anything um you know as far as like what I went through with MAC cosmetics and just kind of growing up and going through a lot emotionally I want to hear about it so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as always give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already like I said comment down below and I had a great time creating this look for you so yeah I will see you guys again really soon I'm running around, but there's no place to hide I start to talk in my sleep, I so start to